Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 181. My name is Jay Serpelding. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com. Remember the dash to save the cash and buy and sell DVC.com. And uh, today is July 24th, 2024. So your seventh month window is going to be June 24th, 2025. And the seventh month window is February 24th, 2025. As always, if you're looking to rent point or rent out your DVC points, it's dvc-rental.com. Remember the dash to save the cash. And if you're looking to sell your property or purchase a property, it's buy and sell uh, dvc.com. And we're going to start on the buy and sell side of things. And we're going to talk about something, you know, maybe if you're saying, why are you talking about something that's not positive? Hey, we have to bring to light everything that we find out. Uh -oh. So here was the question that we asked. Yeah. It was, is there one DVC resort you thought you would love, but stayed there once and haven't returned? And it was also said, you don't necessarily want to bash the resort but you just like other resorts better. Now, there were 234 comments on this wow. in under 24 hours. So I'm just gonna read some of the comments. <laughs> All 234 of them. Buckle in, this is gonna be a six hour episode, folks. But I'm gonna leave out the names for the people just in case you're trying to go after them. <laughs> so, uh, I have the names on here so I can see who's saying this. So the first to. one was, it just said, Polly, I know I'm in the minority. I'll do it for like a night, but that's it. Next one, Beach Club. We stayed there two times and Yacht Club for one night during a split stay. Don't get the hype at all. It's great if you love World Showcase, but it's pretty spread out if you're in a DVC room and the food options, especially if you had seafood allergies, are so limited. <clears throat> I think that's a good idea to read these because, again, <laughs> there's some people that will, like, like when you get on the Internet, and again, the Internet, of course, is not everybody sharing their every thought at every minute, you know, like what some people think it is. So it's like, you know, some people will grab, you know, this and then they think that's just the way it is. Like, that's where I got to stay because this person, you know. <clears throat> um, but I've seen that before in the past where people go, well, I have to stay on the monorail. You know, I'm, I'm going to Disney. I have to be on the monorail. And there is no talking them out of it. There's nothing will change their mind. They, they've never been to Disney before, but they read, I have to be on the monorail. So that's all that's locked into their mind. So maybe something like that. This, this is a good idea. <laughs> and then here's board. It says boardwalk. I'm from Jersey. The rooms just look like some old lady shore house. White, white, <laughs> boardwalk. white, long, ugly, covered hallways. I'll check it out again post remodel. I felt this way about Saratoga Springs before they redid the rooms. The old rooms felt so old and musty. Now it's beautiful. I didn't expect to love it so much post remodel, but I do. Didn't expect to love Old Key West. Uh, didn't love it. We were in the back by the road, and the road noise took me right out of the Disney bubble. Uh, another beach club, and it says, Don't come at me, people. LOL. The swimming area is too much for younger kids. Very deep areas, very spread out, and the slide entrance is across a walkway. When our son is older, we will return. Yep. And then, I mean, this one, you know, this says Animal Kingdom was a big debt letdown for me since we booked a Savannah room and saw zero animals. Really? I mean, that's hard to believe. Um, I will probably try it again sometime, but the small studio, sofa bed, dark decor, long hallways, and bustling transportation are all reasons that I'm in no rush to go back there. Here, I've always seen a lot of animals. I, I don't know if something happened, the right, weather, right. weather was bad, and they didn't come out. I, I, I don't know, but like I've had Savannah View rooms. I've, I've, I've always seen tons of animals, so I'm, I'm sorry Same you here. ran into that. The Riviera. It's beautiful, but we just fan, didn't feel like we fit in. It was too fancy. Yeah. We also didn't like Old Key West. Maybe it was because we were on the third floor and far away from the bus stop icy machine. Grand Floridian for me. I do love staying there for a night or two during the holidays, but I just find the hotel to be overrated. Ooh. Sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, let's see. Oh, man. This says Polly was awful after it was... My top bucket list resort. We were shocked at how much we love Saratoga after all the hate gets. 
I got to tell you, everybody sitting there, people have said that they hated Boardwalk, loved Saratoga, hated Polly, loved Saratoga. Saratoga is getting love here, and no, nobody's mentioning that they dislike Saratoga. I mean, obviously, you know, we had 234 comments. You know, you didn't bring all 234 here, but a lot of love for Saratoga, surprisingly. Good job. So I think I'm going to stop there before we go, before I'm reading too many comments. But I mean, it's only one left. Read the last one. It says Bay Lake. It just feels too much like a regular hotel to me. I, I've thought that sometimes in the past, too. It's, I felt that the, I like Bay Lake Tower. The location's fantastic, but I felt like it was just like a Westin. Like it's a, you walk in, it's a, very, it's a very nice resort, but it just didn't have like, like Disney feel to me. And it was very sterile and contemporary, and it just wasn't my thing. And Bay Lake wasn't my thing. I've probably stayed there six times. <laughs> so I mean, I, I'll, I still go back and I, I absolutely love like two bedroom overlooking with the theme park view. Absolutely beautiful. So I think it, also, it probably also depends on the room that you get. You know, if you get a studio and you go, oh, this is a small efficiency, I don't like it. You know, if, if you had stayed in the two bedroom theme park view, you might be singing a different story because I, I, I know that's happened with me too. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Bay Lake Tower, but I know you, you've been the grand you've been the grand villa at Bailey Tower, and you know, that's a pretty amazing room. So it probably just depends also what room you stay in. I just, I just thought of that because I'm going. I've stayed at Bailey Tower; it's not my favorite, but the ones overlooking the theme park are pretty darn nice. But I mean, I still think, like if you're one of those families that really know nothing about Disney at all, like I still and you just say I want to dip my toes and come from Ohio for a three night stay. I still think that if you came and stayed at Bay Lake Tower and just went to Magic Kingdom every day, like I still think that you would love it. Like because mm. you're just walking right to Magic Kingdom, walking back, walk over to the contemporary. You could ride around the monorail for fun, but maybe that's maybe I'm maybe that's just me with a wrong opinion. But uh I, that's again I've, I've mentioned in past episodes there's, there's something for everyone and if you don't like Bay Lake Tower, there's some somewhere else you'll like or if you're if you didn't like Polly, check out Boardwalk. If you didn't like Boardwalk, Saratoga was what you enjoyed. It's different strokes, everybody. And it's, so, again, I just, one of the things I absolutely love about Disney is just the flexibility of the system. You know, all the timeshares, you know, you got to go a certain time of the year and you're staying at this resort. With Disney, you come for one night, come for 20 nights. It's a, it's a three nights in a one bedroom, two nights in a studio, whatever, whatever you want. It's, it's so flexible. Switch resorts, it's, it's wonderful. And again, I'm not, I'm not really trying to bash other programs and maybe it's just because, you know, I'm uneducated on other programs, but it's like, if someone like is in the Marriott program and you talk to them, a lot of times they're just talking about, they bought in at a certain resort and that's the resort they go to. They're not, they don't talk about sleep around resorts like DVC members do. They just don't do it. It's not, it's not in the, their vocabulary or how they use their membership. They're just usually going to one resort and that's it. Um, and now we're on to the food review of the week. So I will tell you, if you missed this part on the Facebook, let us know if there is a DV resort that you would stay at, you thought you would love, but you're probably not going to go back. Yeah, add it in the comments. If, you, if there's one you like or don't like, let us know. All right. Food review. Come here, I'm gonna eat you! Get in my belly! For today's food review, I still have a bunch of these. I am in Disneyland still at the Carnation Cafe on Main Street. And I got the braised short rib with house-made mac and cheese, seasonal vegetables. My, mine were just green beans. For $24, which was a great price, as this would have probably been, I thought this would be 50% more expensive at Disney World. And everything I've had at Disneyland, I've always said, it's like Disney World prices, but add a couple dollars. This one for $24 was, I thought, a steal for Disneyland. Um, every, everything on my plate was delicious. Uh, the only small complaint is that maybe the macaroni and cheese could have had a little bit more cheese on it. It wasn't especially cheesy, but still very, very good. Short rib was cooked perfectly, nice and soft. Um, I, I would definitely get this again, and it, especially, it's such a great value. I give this an 8.4. I mean, this was, again, thr thrilled with this meal. You know, it taste, you know, did blow me away where it's like, my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever eaten, but so super solid, and because thrifty, the price for $24 for braised short rib, very, very good deal. So very happy, fantastic choice at Carnation Cafe. Now we're on to the DVC-Dash Reynolds side of things. 
Uh, for the rental side, I just kind of want to touch on some of the DVC destinations around the world. So, as everybody knows, Walt Disney World is part of DVC. It's 11 resorts across Disney World, um, all with different theming that we've been discussing. You know, you, you've got Grand Floridian with the Vic Victorian theming, Animal Kingdom with the African theme. I mean, just it, it's all it's all over the place. Uh, lots of great options. Whether you're looking out at animals, or you're looking out at uh, at at Magic Kingdom, or you're looking over a golf course, there's options for everyone. Uh, they've also got the Disneyland Resort in California. Uh, it says, what was written down here says, experience West Coast magic at the villas at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. Steps away from the Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park. That's where I just stayed again back in March. Disney, uh, absolutely love Grand Californian Hotel. Beautiful lobby also. Same architect that does Wilderness Lodge and Animal Kingdom. So big open air lobby. Absolutely beautiful there. Um, there's, you've also got the brand new Disneyland Hotel. Um, it says Victor experience the Victorian charm, classic Disney experience right in the heart of the resort. Both have fantastic location. Um, Grand Californian is definitely closer. It's right in the middle. It's right in the middle of of the downtown Disney, right by both both entrances to the parks. You know, Grand, uh, California Adventure and Disneyland are right across from each other, so it's all right there. Uh, Disneyland hotels. Literally, at the, it's, at the, it's at the end of um, downtown Disney, so you have to walk through a little bit to get there, but still, I mean, it's a five-minute walk through downtown Disney to get to the park, so absolutely fantastic location as well with that. And you've got, you've got Disney's Alani in Hawaii. This is the only DVC resort I have not stayed at yet, but you get to escape to the paradise of Alani in Ko Koalina, the beachfront resort, stunning ocean views, character experiences, touch of Disney magic alongside the Hawaiian cultures, luxurious villas, breathtaking ocean oceanfront lanais. I mean, I, I I need to get here one day. Haven't made it yet. It's a long trip for us, but I will be there. What you well, let me ask you this: What's your opinion on going to an line? Do you already have an opinion? Like, like Not in your mind, do you think all oh, this is going to be? Because I will tell you this: I'm just a little intimidated. Because like if you go into the Disney like Alani planning Facebook group, I mean that's a little bit of an intimidating group because they have strong opinions in there saying you must do this, must do this. They could talk about towels on the chairs. That is true. Yes, I have, I have seen I have seen those posts recently. Um, I I never even really thought about that, but it, it is definitely I mean, the thought of just that long of a flight to get there and then. I feel like Alani requires a lot of planning. You, you wouldn't expect it. You know, like Walt Disney World, you've got to plan stuff because you've got to do the rides, you want to be here at certain times, you have certain food, you got to make reservations. Alani, you think it would just be kind of like a just laid back thing, but it seems like there's a lot of planning and a lot of stuff involved for Alani as well. Yeah, because they go into, you got to rent a car, you got to go here. Somebody complained because the whole time that they were there, it rained. And so, you know, I mean, it was... So I will tell you that I'm a because you know a couple of years ago I was all about oh we need to go to Alani and then it's like you dive in and then I'm it's like maybe it's one of those things where I, I shouldn't be reading the internet about it because possibly I, I I have not read it as much so I because we have not had any plans to like go there where I was like all right now I'm going to dive in and do extra research on it but I I, I am I, I am in that Alani group and I have seen the people complaining about the, the people waking up at literally four o'clock in the morning to go save chairs and. People go there by 6 a.m. and everything is already full and it's... And then now, so before COVID, I guess, there was an adult-only pool. Then for whatever reason, once COVID started, then, you know, it, it wasn't that way anymore. But now, as we are filming this episode, I believe they went back to now it's an adult-only pool. Mm -hmm. So that was an issue as well. So, so you're, you're all up on your Alani news. It's good. It's good because you can add this on here because I was now I was now aware of the the change of the pools. So yes, the Alani the Alani Facebook groups are very active. I mean, those people are, you know, and then you you know you and then I mean again, it's very intimidating because it's like you want to get request this room on this floor and this and this. It's like well, if you're giving that to everybody, then we'll, like everyone's going to request the same room, like. Yeah, that's. All, uh, <laughs> I mean, somebody has to stay in the other rooms. Exactly. All, all those, a lot of the resorts have that. You, you know that, like you know, 
and uh, like Kidani, everybody was, I want to be close to the lobby because, you know, there's long hallways. Well, everybody who comes in says, I want to be close to the lobby. Or anybody who says at the, at, the, at the Polynesian is going, oh, I, you know, in the lake view, I want to be on the second and third floor so I have the best view overlooking the fireworks. Ooh. That's what everybody wants, you know. If everybody's putting in the same exact request, there's, there's, nobody else can have anything else. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't have unlimited supply of those requests. Yes, yes. So next uh, section is beyond the parks. Now, there's, there's also Disney's Vero Beach. I'm not sure. I think Jason may have mentioned this in the past on the Atlantic coast here. And uh, you've got South Carolina, you've got Disney's Hilton Head. I know that Cassandra from our team and Debbie from our team have done several of these South Carolina trips over the last year, year and a half or so, mo multiple times each, and they've absolutely loved their stays. I've, I've got to get back there sometime soon. I mean, I, will, I, will, I just want to mention, I mean, I am jealous of the Hilton. Now, you talk about Facebook group Alani to Hilton Head. Hilton Head is like the most Mellow, welcome group, welcome Facebook Mellow. group ever. I mean, so there was one group over July 4th, they were going to have, you know, they posted before they went, they were going to have 23 people for their July 4th trip. And they have, they showed their setup along the beach where it looks like they have six tents going across. They said, you know, come on out, come see us, whatever. I mean, really, that, That's awesome. to me, it's night and day. Alani and Hilton Head, like the Hilton Head. Mine's a little rigid and a little yeah. crazy. The Hilton Head people like, are hey, like, grab a hammock, pull up. The Hilton Head people are like food for you. one drinks. big family, you know. That's awesome. That's a, you know, so I am very jealous of those people that, uh, that are, I mean, they're just, I mean, bang, bang, bang. It's like they're going there every summer. I got to get in that Hilton Head group. That sounds awesome. Yes, I, you I, definitely I, do. Cause I like that. I mean, and I mean, and, you, and then you're in that group and then it's, as of all the different groups, that's the group with the most amount of people I feel like go to Hilton Head and then they, you know, buy a place there, move there, whatever the case may be. I mean, they just love it. I mean, that's, I mean, I'll, we're going off topic a little bit, but actually we're really not. Because that's what things I love about Vero as well. You know this, is that people, every single day they're going in these groups on, on Facebook going, hey, I just left my boogie boards in a cooler up on the on the fourth floor in the laundry room. And that people are just recycling the stuff. Here's, here's some beach chairs. Leave it for the next person. And they're like, they're, they're little communities that really take care of each other. Not a lot of fighting or anything, just mostly passing stuff along and, and very welcoming, which is really nice to have. And you don't have... I mean, again, from some of those experience, Bureau Beach, you don't have the chair saving problem at Bureau Beach. Like, Not it must much. just all work out that the people that are staying there, X amount of people use the pool, X amount of people use the beach, X amount of people travel around the area. Because it's just the the chair saving. It's just not a problem. Yeah, it's it's not it's not very bad there at all. I, I always get there early in the morning because I always want one of the tables in the back with the umbrella. We're not big, you know, sun people. We want to be like laying out and just you know, getting a tan all day. So we we normally like to have a table in the back with the umbrella so we could be in the shade and also we could do work from there as well. So there's only we'll say 20 tables with umbrellas. So I always go early to try to get one of those, but I, I always stay. We don't just like put stuff down and leave. I always stay. A lot, a lot of times when my family's getting ready still, I'm, I'm there, you know, waiting at the gate at 8 a.m. for it to open so I can just sit down and wait for the family to come down in 15 minutes or so. But all right, let's get back on here. Um, again, I've got a list here. Again, mentions, because I've, I've touched on this just recently, also the, just the, the variety of vacation styles. Different room sizes for everybody, different views, different, just completely different vacations. You know, Alani is going to be very different than staying at, at Bay Lake Tower, and, which is going to be very different than, than Grand Florida. Like everything is just very different. Also, with DVC, you go and you do global adventures, um, combine your Disney Vacation Club membership with adventures around the world through Disney's Adventure by Disney program. So you can use your points to do Adventure by Disney trips. Normally, I think it's it's best to rent out your points and use the cash to book the adventure by Disney, but definitely always check to make sure because prices are always all over the place. Um, I mean, it, it's it's more than just the parks as well. I mean, you know, you've got all rec you got the recreational activities around the resorts. You've got mini golf. You've got swimming pools, fitness centers, character de de uh, meals. You've got cultural experiences at many of the resorts like Animal Kingdom and Hawaii and Alani. Um, and also, there's always lots of stuff to do with local attractions around all of these areas as well. So lots of stuff with DVC, lots of different choices. Again, I, I know I've mentioned it. I think I mentioned it last episode at some point, probably at this episode, that one of the best things about DVC is just all the options you have. I mean, different rooms, different resorts, not just at Disney World, 
all over the place. Whether you're going to the beach or you want to be, you know, hanging out in a wooded area of Hilton Head, relaxing in a hammock by a campfire. I mean, there's so many different choices. Plus, you know, all the international stuff with Adventures by Disney. That lots and lots of great options. Yeah, I mean, and one thing I'll say, you know, like some people will say, well, you know, DVC program is a cookie cutter program. It's, you know, it's, it's, you know, other people have it. It's a point system. You use points. And to me, it's, it's, I mean, again, my opinion is it's not a cookie pro cutter program. It's extremely unique and the how it's, it's not duplicated by any, anybody else. And the other thing is, is that you, it, to me, in my opinion, it would be hard pressed for you to find just two. Let's say there's at this point, I don't know, 350,000 DBC okay. members. You'd be hard pressed to find two members that use their membership exactly the same. Mm. They just, you know, because you just, it's, so I just want to say that because that's how unique it is. I mean, you just covered it. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, there's the people who come down, I know you said Ohio previously. There's people who come down from Ohio once a year and use their DVC. You've got people like us who are locals who use it for, you know, last minute stays or special events. Like we're supposed to be going, we're supposed to go away for my, my wife's birthday and my kids a lot of times for their birthday, they'll pick it and we'll go away for like one night or so and they'll pick where they want to stay. Like there's all different ways to do it. But my son had a birthday party a couple years ago where we got a grand villa at Old Key West for the night just because it was the least expensive option. And we had a bunch of little kids there and you know, there's everybody does it differently. And most people don't do it the same way every single time. There, there are some that, I, especially I know a lot of the old Key West owners who've been around forever, they love their old Key West and they just go there. But again, you know, I'm using it to check out the new, the, the new DVC, the, the cabins at Fort Wilderness. And then the next trip I'll be going for a night at, at Boardwalk. And then we'll be doing two nights at Polynesian because we had extra points and we're local. And my kid's birthday, they'll, they'll want to do Animal Kingdom. So like, the, you, know, you're, you know, there are people who do it the same way, but. But there's also many, many, probably the most people who just, it's all over the place. Sometimes it's a studio, sometimes it's a cabin, sometimes it's a grand villa for a party. It's all over, all different resorts, all different choices. Definitely. Thanks for watching. Leave us your comments. Hope and they made it through all that. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you for watching as always.